what is this? You figure about show the graph. Let me make this graph tonight. Cartesian coordinates, and we have graph. And go like this. Go to zero. And this is negative five. And this, what is it? Five. And this is G of X. This is G, this is X. And what the question is? What value of X is the maximum G of X? Mm -hmm. Within this interval. So what is maximum? This is the highest dot point, right? Maximum. And what value of this maximum mm -hmm. is about five. But they ask you about value of x which corresponds to this maximum. Go to this point and move the zero down and read this what we have with this. It's about c. So x equal to c because this is c. So far so good students. Any questions? Jonah, you can use any application. So how many times? Even I'm not looking, system generate the report in the end of this class with how many minutes you spent for not related to this class. Daniel, yeah, I'm just looking at the test. It's just another tab. Mm -hmm. Test you have to download to your uh, hard drive. You use Adobe Reader. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Okay, who has questions about this? Easy. If I ask you, if I change problem, uh, which value of x is the minimum, let's say minimum, how to do this? Easy, let me change this problem. This is minimum, and this value of x, which would be minimum, x maximum, and would be x minimum. And minimum would be what? in this case it's about uh, if you look at this picture it would be like negative uh negative two just a few seconds questions equal t1 next many students ask three two three two so again if you have questions before erase you can ask any questions Three, two. The given function. What is it? X minus A times X plus A. The question is, for the quadratic expression above, what the coefficient of X? Well, this is a bridge formula a minus b times a plus b and you have x squared let me make some space here minus a squared you everybody know this right any questions so far do we have x here yes we have i can write here plus zero x even you don't have it you can assume that we have but coefficient is zero coefficient is zero because if they ask you what the coefficient in front of uh x square is one what coefficient in front of x zero zero just write expanded form if you don't have x, assume this is x, but coefficient equals to zero. Any questions so far? Have you seen this question? Each of these words like few seconds. Not tricky. If you have any question, ask me. This was three two. Next is again I go through mostly class questions. 
three three. Three three we have uh Yusun who has this. For instance, uh, who would like to read three three out loud? Mm -hmm. Sam M. Sam. Read three three out loud. Clean a house, Bob charges a fee of $20 for his equipment and $8.75 per hour spent cleaning. Ryan charges a fee of $16 for his equipment and $9.75 per hour spent cleaning. If X represents the number of hours spent cleaning, what are all of the values of X for which Ryan's total charge is greater than Bob's total charge? Thank you. This is typical work problem. Like, uh... 85% plus of work problem, you can use matrices. In our case, it's a kind of charts, right, or tables. It's better to organize your data. Nice reading. Uh, let's do this classical, like if you remember chapter 12 we did with you. This is 3-3. Three, three. three line by line and create a chart or matrix. We have two objects, Bob, and for the second one is Ryan. So we have two objects and some rows and some counts, properties. What do you know? They give you how much they ch charge for equipment that means doors for equipment how much they charge Bob, 20 doors you're not supposed to write doors again because the doors show the data type and this 16. next what they give you how much they charge per hour? Mm -hmm. Dollars per hour. And respectively, uh, both charge 8.75 and uh, Ryan 9.75. Uh, they work the same amount of hours for cleaning. Hours for cleaning. They don't know, we don't know either. Same, the same amount of hours, X and X. Anything else? Based on this, if you combine all this uh, data, you can find total charge for each auto and this in hours. Charge for each indoors. Well, this is fixed rate for indoors plus 8.75x. More hours, more charging. And I charge 16 doors plus 9.75x. Did they miss something? Not really. And what they said? They said the Ryan supposed to charge more than both. X represents the number of hours spent. What are all values for which Ryan total charge is greater? Where is Ryan? This is Ryan. Plus 1975x must be greater than 20 plus 8.75x. Everything is given. I just read line by line of this. Okay. Now minus 16, so inequality, this inequality, and minus 16, minus 8.75, and 
x n minus this is nine point seventy five and this is nine not twenty and minus eight point seventy five x easy cross it out okay if you subtract this would be x greater cancel out then four check mark classical we have tones whatever they give you this is the best way to organize and you never make mistake here so far so good before erase Mm -hmm. Again, I go through most class question first. After that, if you have any question, you can ask me. Okay. Next, this question related to two, three, seven. Let me see. Yes, three, seven. In three seven, let me make a picture. <clears throat> we have Cartesian coordinate, and we have a parabola. I know in this, not pretend this is symmetrical. Not the best picture, but it is symmetrical parabola. This is why. This is x, and you have a graph y equals to a x squared plus b x plus c. Well, and they give multiple choices to solve. First of all, if parabola goes down, downward, a must be negative. From here, a is less than zero. Otherwise, it's supposed to go upward, but this goes downward. Now, what is C? Imagine that x equals to zero. When x equals to zero, when x f of zero, this is zero, this is zero, and this is C. So C is y intercept. And C y intercept for this one is positive. Why? Because it's above of zero. And C is positive. So when x equals to zero, this value is greater than zero based on this picture. So I'll look at multiple choice. This is A. A is less than zero, and C is greater than zero. Any questions, students? Raise your hand who understand up to this point everything. Come, raise your hand, two seconds. Okay, what about Theodore and Ellison? You're not listening? Ellison? Ellison? Yes, sorry. When I give you, uh, when I send you request, you have immediately two seconds to start. Can you raise hand, Alison? Yes. For now, I always control this randomly. In any moment, I can ask. If you understand, raise hand. If you're not raising, you're not listening. Good, good, good. Not good. Good, good, good. Put your hands down, everybody. Three, seven. Okay, next. Uh, three, eight. Theodore, read it, please. Three, eight. And the very first one, I see when I use it. Mm -hmm. 
An exponential function has two positive real roots and a zero root. Which of the following expressions could be the function described above? Okay, thank you. Only I told you this is wrong here. This is not exponential function, just cross it out. But anyway, problem is similar what we have in SAT, only they made mistake because it's not exponent. And let me answer this question. Uh, has two positive real numbers and zero root. And key word here could be, keep in mind in SAT, we have an any test actually. Model verbs, they meaning a lot. Let's say uh, must, has to, is 100% certain. Could, ought, might, etc. that's 50%. Maybe yes, maybe no, right? This is could be. It's not must, it could be. And what I'm supposed to get? One, zero root, and two root could be positive. Let me uh, analyze what we have. Let's say we have a function f of x equals a x cube minus b x squared and plus c x. Okay. Why eliminate uh, a? For instance, this is d. For instance, a, why I just keep it? f of x equals to a x squared plus bx plus c. Why? Because what they said, they said one root is zero, x1 is zero, x2 and x3, they're supposed to be positive. So we have three roots. According to main theorem algebra, we name it main, the main theorem of algebra. It states the equation of n power has n roots. How many roots I have? Three. One, two, three. What power of this? Two. Two does not work with this because the second power equation has only two roots. So I eliminate. I go straight to the cubic. First of all, with their power. And after that, I can transform like this. I put x beyond of parentheses, factorize. ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. When it's equals to zero, for sure, when x equals to zero, the product equals to zero. And this trinomial has to have two roots. According to main theorem of the Is possible that both of them possible are uh, positive? Yes. Because it could be, not must. That's why correct answer is D. And these two roots, x2 and x3, could be greater than zero. Okay. Any questions? No questions. This was three eight. Okay. Three nine. Three nine. How many students we have? Ten. Uh huh. Good. Let me make a picture. Three nine. The picture is ninety degrees. D, C, A, and B. Uh, Lisa, read this question, please. Mm -hmm. 
number three, uh, number nine, sorry. Ready? Lisa, Lisa, you unmuted. Who can help me to read this very fast? Elira, please. Number nine, three nine. In the figure above, triangle ABC is a right triangle with the right angle at A. Line segment AD is, is an altitude, AB equals 15 and AC equals 20. What is the area of triangle ABD? Thank you, nice reading. <clears throat> what we have, according to your reading, this is 20, this is 15, and what is 15? 15 is the same like three times five. What is 20? 20 is the same like four times five. Based on Pythagorean triples, the side would be what? Three for five triangle, five times five, which is 25. This is faster. You can apply Pythagorean theorem, but this is faster. So you know, if you have Pythagorean triple three four five multiplied by any coefficient, it's still Pythagorean triples. We found this, and the question is: find find area of triangle uh, ABD. This one. Question mark. Okay. To find this ABD, we can do uh, two different ways, few different ways actually. Let's say this is X. Area of this triangle, area of triangle CAB equals X times 25 divided by 2. Base time high the right base. For the other side, since this angle is right, they mutually perpendicular. It is the same. I can find this area from another perspective. 20 times 15 the y by 2. If I multiply both pi by 2, I cancel out these two and these two. And I get x times 25 equals 20 times 15. Divide by 25 plus parts. Cancel, cancel. Simplify by 5. This is 3, this is 5. 5 goes into 24 times. This is 12. So I found this side is 12. So far, so good. Now, in order to find area of triangle ABD, I have altitude, I need to get this side. Based on height divided by two, one of this way. How to do this? I can prove that uh, we have few triangles which are similar. And uh, if I have this angle, in order not to mis make mistakes. So, for this angle, tangent of this, what is tangent of this angle? Tangent of this angle B equals 12 over DB. Or from another side, this angle included in the triangle, it's equals opposite to adjacent equals 20 to 15. Why? Because it's the same, uh, the same angle, it has the same tangent. After that, you can easily find DB. 20 dB 
e equals 12 plus 15. Divide by 2 on your both parts. Cancel out. And divide by 5 is 3. This is 4. 4 goes into 12. 3 times. This is 9. There's no calculator section. It's better to use uh, simplification. This is 9. So the very last step. Area of triangle ADB or ABD equals base times height, which is 12. Divide by 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times. And if you multiply, you get what? 54. Okay. You can do without tangent, just use similarity of triangle. This triangle and this triangle are similar. Why? Because they have common vertex. Both of them right triangles. And the third angles are complementary. Also the same. Whatever you have. Any questions, students? I step back. If you have a question, ask me. This is the nine. If you don't have, I believe everybody taking notes of this, right? Okay. Now, um, the very fast three ten. Or we can which uh, graph represent any quality px plus six y is greater than six. Unscramble this and format y equals to mx plus b. How to do this? First of all, we can simplify by c, but Minus 3x minus 3x. You get 6y greater than negative 3x plus 6. Divide everything by 6. And you get y is greater than negative 1 over 4x plus 1. So build this graph. Y intercept is one. This is one. And since negative is goes down. Okay. When X equals to two, this equals Y equals to zero. And you connect this lines, these two points. Only keep in mind, since it's strong inequality, you have to make dashed line. If it were greater or equal, it's supposed to be solid line. Since it's greater, you shade semi-plane above of this. And after look, look on your multiple choice and find this as else. Again, in math, if you have greater or equal, 
let's say if it were greater or equal, y is supposed to be solid is greater above if less is below. We did many times of this. So better than guess, solve it, and after that find a related fiction. Okay. Next question is. 3.11 and 3.11 we have h of x equals three open parentheses x squared plus five x plus four minus four times x minus c okay plus me this question Caesar, read this please. Three eleven. You have this expression. Mm -hmm. Polynomials, Caesar. In the polynomial h of x, defined above, c is a constant. If h of x is divisible by x, what is the value of c? Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is a typical question for my SAT. How to solve it? Well, uh, use this derivative. You have what is it? 3x squared plus 15x plus 12 minus 4x plus 4c. The next combine like terms equals 3x squared 15x minus 4x plus 11x. Okay. Plus twelve plus four C and they said that must be divisible by X. Well uh, how is divisible by X? E three X squared divisible by X, yes. Is eleven X if I divide everything by X. Each term, look at this. This divisible by x, this divisible, this is not divisible. Because if I had this one, look at this here 3x squared plus 11x, I would write this x times 3x plus 11, and this divisible by x. But this is has nothing to do with x, there is no x. You know that this divisible by x, well, plus for c is no remainder means must be equals to zero all in this way because zero you can divide by any value minus 12 and minus 12 cancel out you have 4c equals to negative 12 or divide both part by 4 and you have c equals to negative 3 simple logic so far, so good. Who understand up to this point? Everything, students, raise hand, please. Raise hand, Lisa, Theodore, Lisa. Lisa. We're going to have to Почему Lisa не поднимает руку? Mm-hmm. Put your hands down. This was the 11. 3, 12. 3, 12.
if x minus y equals to seven, and x squared minus y squared equals to negative 70 find x well step number one factorize x squared minus y squared equals to x minus y times x plus y and this equals to negative 70 but x minus y equal to 7. Plug in here. What we got? 7 times x plus y equals to negative 70. The y both part by 7. Cancel, cancel. Equals to negative 10. What we got from here? x plus y equals to negative 10. And x minus y, this initial equation equals to seven. How to find x? How to find x? Add them up. System of equation, chapter eight to x. Cancel all this one. Equals to negative three. Okay. The y plus part by two cancel out. Check mark. So far so good. Any questions? Is it okay to substitution here? Yeah, you can substitute. This is probably the fastest, but you can substitute. There are uh, six different ways how we solve system of equation. One of this way, any of this way is fine. Okay. Good, good, good. This was 12. Thirteen. Then you want what was your question? Thirteen, please. While participating in the triathlon, Marcus is able to run the marathon portion at a rate of one mile per ten minutes. A marathon is equal to 26 miles. If Marcus runs for H hours where H is less than 4.3, how much farther must Marcus run at time T? Okay, thank you. 413, nice And what we know, H hours, and this is H is less than 4.3. And you know that to run uh, one mile is given for what? Uh, 10 minutes. Uh, in order to convert hours to minutes, h times 60, it would be minutes to this amount, right? Because every hour is 60 minutes. So, and you write here, because minutes under minutes, h times 60 minutes, I don't know distance. From cross multiplication, 10x equals h times 60 divided by 10. equals to 6h. This is our distance. But what is 6h? Since you intermeasured miles here, this is miles. 
And the question is, how much further does Marcus run at time t? So it confirmed 26 miles. And this uh, miles he can run. And this will be thus. Why have these restrictions? Because if h, let's say, equals to 10, difference would be negative, which has no sense. Okay. If you have any questions, ask me. Next, again, I go through my most three fast questions first. After that, I can go back. Three. Uh, 16, right? Let me see where is it. Yeah, 316. And 316. You have expression. Three times square root of 25 x to power p over 4 divided by 1 over 2 times x to power p over 8. This is power. Well, e equals three. Square root of twenty-five is five. Times square root of x to power three over four. Divide by one over two. X to power three over eight. But you know the formula. I take different color. A to the power m over n is the same like n's root of a to the power m. Why? Because they provide it in two formats, in radical format and in power. Better to operate with, with power format. And what we have? First of all, this is 15. Divide by one or two, keep flip, uh, keep change flip, it will be uh, 30. Times x to power, I do it deliberately in steps, many students ask, to power one over two. Why? Because a to power one over two is the same like square root of a, the same, to change it. Divide by x to the power three over eight. When you experience, you can skip many steps. Of this. Now, power to power, you multiply this. You have thirty x times three over eight because one times we multiply this fraction to the power three over eight. Divide by x to the power three over eight. Now cancel all of this and this, it will be 30. Okay. Okay, so you have uh, bad connections. So Lisa, I'll try to help you with something, right? With this. Good. Any questions so far? No questions, easy. 16. Again, I go to more three questions. 18. Uh, 18. Uh, 
In three teen, we have x plus i a times x minus i a equals to ten, and x to the second power equals to one. We have to find a. Well, uh, use a bridge formula, a plus b times a minus b. What is it? It's x to the second minus i square a square. And this equals to 10. Keep in mind, x square equals to 1. And i square equals to negative 1 by definition for imaginary numbers. What we have one minus minus is plus plus a square equals to 10. Minus one and minus one cancel out a square equals to nine. How to find a squared? Take square root of plus plus. Don't forget to put plus minus. And this is a equals to plus minus c. And what the question is, then what is value of a? Plus minus three or three here, if you take positive. If you have any questions, ask me. I have a question. Yes. So if x squared is equal to 1, and then you subtract i squared, which is equal to negative 1, then wouldn't you get 1 minus negative 1, which is 2? No. Look at this. It's not negative 1. If nothing written, it's multiplication. It's coefficient of this. You know, a kind of look at this. It's kind of, kind of like 1 minus... Uh, minus minus is plus is plus a squared. It's not negative one. Negative one is coefficient of this. This actual behind the scene is a squared. Did I answer question? Yeah, yeah. It's not one standalone. If it's when alone, right. But this is hidden multiplication. Like here, hidden multiplication everywhere. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. More questions? No questions. Okay, just let me go through next one. Just a second, just a second, students. This is 318. The next one is 319. Three nineteen.
in C19, we have G of X equals X times X minus one. Mm -hmm. And M is positive. And what is G of M plus two? G of M plus two. It means X equals to M plus two substitution. It's the same like how this function works. Take this value and multiply by value which is one less. It will be M plus two this by x and this would be m plus 2 instead of x and minus 1 which is right here m plus new space it would be m plus 2 times m plus 1 this we get. What do you ask you on this problem? And this is G of M plus 2. G of M plus 2. This is given. Equals to what? To 12. What do you have to find? M. Well, use this evidence. Equals to M to the second plus m plus 2m and plus 2 for combined terms and to the second plus 3m plus 2 and this equals to 12. This is given, this equals to 12. Minus 12 and minus 12. You get m to the second plus pm minus 10 equals to zero. So factorize it. 5 and negative 2. m plus 5 times m minus two you remember how we do this product equal to this and sum equal to this position so either n equals to negative five or two since we have these restrictions the answer is supposed to be two and you can write n equals to two. any questions If you have any question, ask. Okay, good. Then finally, the last from this set, 320. And who asked me 320? Caesar, don't use applications. Edison, for instance, read out loud. Daniela, you also asked this question. Uh, um, did you say question 20? Wait, what question did you say? Sorry. 320. Okay. Um, an opera house charges $152 per box seat and $87 per normal seat. Last opening night, there was a total of 110 attendees, and the opera house made $10,675. How many of the patrons were in box seats? Okay, thank you. Remember, we already did today uh, one work problem. The one of the best way to organize data is a matrix. So let's do the same approach. Three twenty. Nice reading, Ellison. For three twenty, what do we know about three twenty? They have both seat in opera and what else and name they name it normal seat mm 
create a matrix. Now read what is given here, property of this object. They give you a door specific. And how many doors? This is 152, and this 87. <clears throat> In addition, they have one more line here, total. They said uh, number of people, or number of attendees. So let me write uh, number of people who visit this opera. And they said total was 110. So is the total 110? This is x. This must be 110 minus x. So far, we're good. What else is given here? As we did previous time, total value each indoors. Indoors. Just multiply these two columns. 152x and this 87 times 110 minus x. In addition, they said these two attendants, they made 10,675 doors. This is 10,600. 75. So what is it? So if you get the amount of money we get for a uh, box seat plus amount of money for normal seat, if you add them up, you will get this amount overall. Or 152x plus 87 times 110 minus x equals to 10,675. Okay, take the thing out. Who needs help with this equation? If you need help, raise your hand, I will solve this. If not, just distribute your property, like terms, and find x. Any questions? Okay, no questions. So we went through chapter three in very details. Okay, now let's uh, section three. Now let's go to section four. Four. Again, most people's questions. Again, I leave this equation by your own, but if you need, I, will, I can help you to solve this. Me. Distribute you like terms, fine x. Okay. Now let me go over through. Well, we have most questions. After that, I return back. Many questions here is very simplified. Four nine, four nine, for asking uh, Samuel. Please for nine. Samuel. Uh, four. You said four nine. Yes, four nine. Two cars are racing each other across the city. One car drives along a highway shaped like a semicircle across the top of the city. The other car takes a straight path, the diameter of the semicircle, across the city. Despite their different paths, the race ends in a tie. 
If the slower car is going 20 miles an hour, what is the approximate speed of the faster car in miles per hour? Thank you. This is for mine. Let me illustrate the situation by a small picture. We have a, a highway goes like semicircle to be. And this is a center and this radius. What else do we know? Faster car. So rate of faster. Go this way. And this is the rate of smaller car. Smaller car. What else is given? Slow car 20 mph. So like we did before, again, matrix. We have slower car and faster car. Rate MPH. If this faster car, we don't know. This is X, right? And this is 20 MPH. Slow car, right? 20, this is 20, and this is X. Next, um, this is time in hour, and this is distance in miles. Distance in miles, this is semicircle. And for faster car, this AB, all right, some power of this, uh, AB. Equals circumference divided by two, or equals two pi r divided by two, or equals two pi r. This is pi r, right? Let me check again. This is pi r. For faster car. And for slower car is R plus R, four. How to find time? You know, time is distance divided by rate. So as we have distance, you have rate. It will be two R over 20. And this would be pi R over X. Since based on continuity in math, in math continuity. So they start from this point and they get to this point together. So this time supposed to be equal to each other. So PR, pi R over X, pi R over X supposed to be equals to R over 20. You can simplify it by it. Or Two R X equals twenty pi R and divide by two R cancel, 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 cancel. Two goes into twenty ten times. Okay. And uh, it will be ten pi. Plug in 3.14, you get with 31.4 about what they give in terms of final. They give in terms of decimal. 31 point, it's about 31.4 uh, MPH. Okay. 
Any questions, students? You see, all this work from we very nice when you use metrics. It's impossible to make mistakes here. It will be nice. Next, I look away for more students. Uh, it was so nine, four. For fourteen. For fourteen. Okay. Okay. Daniela W. Well done. Read it, please. For fourteen. What number? For fourteen. For one four. Okay. Um, the graph above shows the amount of protein supplied by five different food products. Ricotta cheese, egg, corned beef, lean ground beef, and porterhouse steak as a percentage of their total weights. The cost of 10 grams of each product are $3, $3.30, $3.75, $6.00, respectively. Which of the following four food products supplies the most protein per dollar? Okay, thank you. This is topic data interpretation. Look at this graph. I will refer to this graph you have. And let me write what is given. This is for 14. So, you know, prices for ricotta cheese, all this stuff, right? Let me write ricotta cheese. What is next? X. What is next? Corn beef. The next is lean ground beef, and this uh, steak ES one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I organize this in chart. And it's telling that we compare cost on 10 grams, 10 grams of each. And this is uh, doors per 10 grams. This is respectively 3, 3, 30, 3, 75. I missed something for this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, this one. Not like this. It's supposed to be a little bit Not like this one. Doors per 10 grams. No, it's fine. So this is the, they said, doors 330, 375. Look on your database here, six and 750. Now they ask you to compare to protein. In this chart, what you have in bar graph, they provide how many percent of protein we have in 10 grams. Percent of protein. For RC, for ricotta cheese, if you look at this, percent of protein. I look into this graph, it will be 0.1. 10% is 0.1. You can write 10% or 0.1, or this is faster, 0.1. Next would be point in X, 0.15. Next would be what, 0.2. Next is uh, lean beef, 0.25, look on your graph. And this would be 0.3. So the next, 
you can have gram of protein. Gram of protein. Oh, multiply by 10, everything. If you multiply by 10, why? Because you have 10 grams. And multiply by 0.1. You will have one gram. You have 1.5. You have two. You have 2.5. And it's just three grams of protein. Now they ask you to compare protein per dollar. What is it? Divide this by this. It's one over three. This is 1.5 over 330. This is 2 over 375. This is 2.5 over 6. And this is 3 over 750. Since you saw the scientific calculator, if you found this, right? You compare result of division. I did it, and for home deep, I will. I got what is it? The biggest about this one. I got 0.53 grams per dollar. That's how it works. You know, everybody use computer right now, and. Uh, there are different kinds of database. For now, most popular database are DBMS, Relationship Database Management System. And everything stored in these charts, right? So very productive idea. Oracle, SQL Server, all this program, they use RDBMS. So if you create like kind of table, make analogy with this. Okay, it was 414. If you have a question, ask me. Now we're going to go to the next one. The next one. We have most. It was four. Seventeen and four eighteen. Four seventeen and four eighteen. For instance, four seventeen, four eighteen. Pablo, uh, read this both introduction and both uh, questions. Both, because it's faster question. Don't forget about introduction. Einstein's theory of special relativity states that as an object accelerates toward the speed of light, distances observed in the direction of velocity appear to shrink. This phenomenon is known as the length contraction and can be described with the following equation. L moving equals to length of rest this, um, times the square root of one minus, um, uh, I think that's beta squared. Yes, it is beta. Where beta is the ratio of velocity to the speed of light. Beta equals to velocity over a speed of light. Uh, do I read 17? 17, yes. Tom and Jerry are racing toward the Casper galaxy in their own spaceships. While flying to their destination, they each pass the same nebula that is 10 parsecs long. If Tom sees the nebula as six parsecs long, while Jerry views the nebula as four parsecs long, who is traveling more quickly? Okay, thank you. This is straightforward. You know, upon this formula, the faster object moving closer to light, the more it shrinks. And who or uh, who has shorter nebula? Okay, Jerry. This is four versus six for Tom. It means C. Jerry travel with faster, closer to speed of light. It's straightforward from this formula. The faster you move, the more you shrink. By the way, you know who developed this concept? It's not Einstein. Before Einstein was created by a uh, Nobel Prize, his name Henrik uh, Lawrence. 
And another one, uh, practical in the same time, uh, Fitzgerald. This concept of shrinking when you move with uh, fast, with uh, speed close to speed of light. And uh, Lawrence get, uh, you study physics, not yet? Who study physics? He get Nobel Prize, I believe, in the uh, beginning of 20th century. A uh, great physicist from Den, uh, Denmark. And uh, now, this is no question, right? This is straightforward. Now, most questions ask number 18. Now, Paula, please, 18 also. Vanessa Paula. is in a spaceship moving extremely quickly through the cosmos. If the observed distances before her are half as long as they were before she started moving, what is beta? Okay, thank you. Let's do this together. So many questions on SAT, they based on uh, operation with particular formula. Good idea if you study relativity theory, but it is not, not necessarily you have to do this. For answering this question, let's operate basic of algebra. First of all, let me uh, write this formula first. This is 418, and they give you L moving. equals to L rest times square root one minus beta to the second power where beta beta equals V over C V is object if you have object and aggregation Let's say this is space orbit moving with direction. This is V. And C is speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second. Now, what they give you number 18, Vanessa, he observed distance before here, uh, half is long. Half is long, as they were when before. So here it would be half of this rest. Why? Because they say half is long, right? Well, uh, first of all, we can simplify by, I take different color. I divide both part by LR. L of rest and simplify. This will be one, this cancel out. And what we'll get, we get that I will use base on symmetrical property of equation. I will write square root one minus beta to the second power equals to one over two. How to find beta? Easy. Uh, this is no second power here. Mm -hmm. So takes to the second power both parts. And you have one minus beta to the second power equals to one over four. I continue with that. How to find beta? Minus one and minus one. Cancel out. I get negative beta to second power equals to negative three over four. Or I multiply both part by negative one. I will get beta to the second power equals to three over four. How to find beta? Easy. X square root of both parts. And this plus minus. This is beta equals, you know, square root of ratio equal ratio square roots. 
growth of C is directional number, but square root of four is two. Okay, and now look at multiple choice. This is a square root of two over two. If you have any question, ask me. No questions? Good. This formula is great. It works not only for, for length, it's working for time. When you move faster, time goes slower, right? Etc. Great part of uh, relativity here. It was for 18. Close, cross it out. Next, many students ask for 19. Then you are. Read this. A ball is accelerating down a ramp at a rate of A equals 5.9 meters second. If the acceleration down the, the ramp is A equals 9.8 times sine of angle C, what is the angle of the ramp angle C in radians? Okay. Thank you. Well, they have they have many typers in different tests. We see the typo here. No typo mistake, actually. Anyway, let me try to do my best from this. I explain why they draw. Like they remember today, instead of uh, naming polynomials, they name it exponen uh, exponential equation. It's not good from point of view of math. This is 419. Okay, 419. We have a ramp. Let's make this ramp. And this is a ball. In acceleration down, we make a little bigger. This direction. And A acceleration. In this acceleration, it's supposed to be said is 5.9 meter to second to second power, not meter per second, because what is meter per second? Meter per second is velocity, right? Acceleration is derivative of velocity is meter per second to second power. Okay. Uh, I turn it down and down. What is down? Down is horizontal, uh, means vertical. And this is 9.8 meter per second. This is G. And let me make this perpendicular here. So this is perpendicular to this. I make this perpendicular to this. And this 9.8 meter per second to second. Why? This is gravitation, right? When no object falling down. And the question is what the angle of ramp I see in radian? This angle C. That's your angle of ramp. Mm -hmm. Well, if you look at this picture, this side A, B, C, this is perpendicular to this, and this perpendicular to this. We study from geometry that angle these mutually perpendicular sides are congruent if both of them are acute or both of them obtuse. So this is the same. So this angle also, if I name it theta, or what do they name it? C, sine C, this is C. They name it C, angle C. Okay, 
This is all also angle C. They equal to each other. And this equals to 5.9. And how to find sine of C? Sine of C is opposite to hypotenuse is 5 over 9 to uh it's like 5 over 9 or 5.9 5.9 5.9 5.9 it equals 5.9 to 9.8 since you have a uh, scientific operator, you divide these two numbers and they ask you to find angle. How to find angle? Your scientific operator put second, remember this one, second, and negative one. What is negative one? Well, negative one is arc sine. It means when you have value, Sine, let's say you have 30 degrees angle, and you want to find sine of this angle. In calculator, 30 degrees angle has sine equals to 0.5. But when you have negative one, it means you have 0.5 value. In order to find angle, we use second, negative one, and find arc sine of this. If you do this, if you do this, I did it. I get it. Uh, and your calculator, I get point six four six. Easy, just one line. Two things. This and this angle are the same. To find this angle, you have to find this over there. And everything is given. For me, it's just triangle. Where well, light is given 5.9 and hypothesis of 9.8. That's it. Any questions? We have this kind of questions, but more challenging in physics with inclined plane or ramp. If you don't have questions, it was 4.19. Okay, the next question is 424, Samuel H, 424. Um, uh, Mr. Brand and Mr. Bolt are running a friendly foot race. The two agree to run as fast as they can to prove who is faster. The graph of their race uh, follows. What was Mr. Brand's average velocity for all 14 seconds of the race? Okay, thank you. And uh, well, how to find average velocity? Average velocity, we did many times, if you remember, for Mark Lentrap. Average velocity, this is 424. Our average equals d total divided by t total. d total is total distance and t total is total time. Now, if you look at this, if you look at this, what is total? Look on your graph. Distance. Distance covered by Mr. Brand. This is shaded, right? Mm -hmm. You have about 42. Look at this in Y coordinate. It's 42 miles. And T total, they ask you. Uh, for all 14 seconds by 14 seconds. If you divide, you get three miles per second. This is how you find usually average uh, 
rate. What is difference? Who remember difference between velocity and rate? Velocity is a vector. Yes. What about rate? That's just speed, but velocity is speed plus direction. Yes. Uh, we name opposite of vector. We name scalar that has no directions. For instance, if I ask you, if you, if your velocity is a uh, thousand kilometer per hour, and can you get in one hour Manhattan? What do you think? Uh. <laughs> if your velocity is one thousand miles per hour, can you get Manhattan in one hour? No. Why? It's like what, two miles? I don't know. Look at this. You know definition, but you have to be creative with this. This is our globe. Right? And this is you on this globe. And this one happened. And your velocity, velocity has two parameters value and directions if you direct it straight to Manhattan yes sure but what, what if you go to opposite direction this Manhattan. what if you go to opposite direction you have to go around the earth around the globe instead of this again for velocity you have to have two direction and value so far so good and this particular case they ask you about value of this uh, how to find value? Just divide distance by time. That's it. Okay, 24. Next is 30. Oh, 30. Okay, for 30. So we write to read. Or uh, Samuel A also, please. Four thirteen. Uh, a, a bird starts gliding and drops two meters in elevation. For every fifty meters it travels horizontally, the bird is at one thousand three hundred fifty meters elevation when it starts gliding, and the bird is traveling at twelve meters per second horizontally. What is the elevation of the bird in meters at the point where the bird passes t seconds after starting to glide? Okay, thank you. Also, typical question for my safety. And it's 430. So let me make a picture about this bird. Start gliding. And you know it's when gliding without engine, right? Flying without engine. It goes by parabola. And this point is they said 1350 meters. And uh, from this point A, are horizontal they said what is it 12 miles per second for every 50 meters let's say not to scale but this is 50 meters horizontally this 50 it goes down vertically two meters I try to put here so this bird participating simultaneously in two movements horizontal and vertical, vertical dropping down and horizontal moving these directions. Okay. So I can easily find this point B. How much time to get this bird to point B? Like we did in one of the problem, 
but right now time is distance divided by rate. Since the time horizontal, time equals distance horizontal divided by rate horizontal or 50 over 12. If you divide and you have 50 or 12 seconds, you can divide the use calculate to this point. So you can make a proportion. Simultaneously, they participate in two movements, horizontal and vertical. Okay, based on continuity, you can separate this movement. If uh, vertical will also cover this two meters for the same amount of time. So you can write this two meters also would be covered for 50 over 12 seconds. And for T seconds, I don't know what this distance is called. Cross multiplication, X times 50 over 12, equals to t. I take different column and multiply both par reciprocally both upside down. 12 over 50 by 12 over 50. After simplification, This and this, this and this. Mm -hmm. It would be 2014. Okay, over 50. And look at multiple choice what they have. They have, uh, they use decimal, how to use this? Multiply by two, this and this. It is same like 48t over 100 or 0.48t. See how it's dropping uh, vertically. And the question is uh, after t seconds, what the elevation? Easy. Since this is 0.48t, you have from this. Subtract this part. Elevation would be 1350 elevations. Minus 0.48t. More time, less elevation. Finally, we'll be flying and be uh, gliding to this point. So far, so good. Any questions? Ask me questions if you have. No questions. The next is two more questions. You'll be patient. Uh, okay, Caesar, it was your question for 31. Anyway. In chemistry class, a student adds a 70% peroxide solution to a three milliliter of a solution that is 15% peroxide. The function f of x equals to three times 0 0.15 plus x times 0 0.7 over three, three plus x represents the percent of peroxide in the resolution solution, where x is the amount of 70% solution that is added. How many milliliters of the 70% peroxide solution should be added to create a solution that is 40% peroxide? Thank you. So for, what is 40%? It's 0.4, right? So they give you formula of 431. And the formula is f of x equals the times 
zero fifteen plus x times point seventeen divided by three plus x. And they ask you to get solution that is forty percent of peroxide. Forty percent is the same like point four. And from this, you have to find x. How? In the same way, point four or one. So cross point four times p plus x equals three times point fifteen plus point seventy x. So distributive property combine like that find x if you need help i will uh, i will solve this equation we need help with this equation nobody good by your own it was 431 433 433 mm -hmm. Okay, uh, S uh, Samuel A is 433. Uh, the above chart shows the annual income of members of a competitive gaming team by role. If the mid player makes $250,000 per year, what is the annual income of the ADC player in thousands of dollars? Okay, thank you. So let me make semantic on this picture. Is Pentagon. Four thirty three. And we have a Pentagon. And we have a center from this. And this connected to this. If the mid player, this is mid player, you make 250. This, uh, we have a few, this is in the lines, this is 300, this is 200. Etc. You know what is a line? Is a lines? Let me write this. Is a lines? Lines which connect with the same values. So if wherever you go, this is probably three hundred thousand. Keep in mind, it's three hundred thousand. And he made this is shaded part here. Shaded part somehow. It shows that. This person who made she get it between two hundred and three hundred a two fifty, but they and they said this to fifty thousand. This to fifty thousand. Why? Because if this is a line is two hundred, this is three hundred between them is two fifty. And the question is uh, ADC player. ADC player is over there. And the shaded part goes to this place somehow. And if you look at this ADC, is 200,000. But the question is, they ask you to answer in thousand of doors. If you ask in thousand of doors, you're supposed to write two hundred because you need to make some thousand of doors. Okay, Samuel A. Hansen. Samuel, you, uh, you understand Hansen or maybe? 
Uh, yes, 100%. Who has questions for this? Okay. Good. Okay, Elira, would you like to read 437? Four thirty seven. If the volume of a sphere with the radius R is V and the volume of a sphere with the with the radius two R is A V, what is the value of A? Thank you. Nice reading. And we have two spheres. And one sphere we radius R volume has V. And the volume sphere with radius to R volume is A V. What is value of V of A? A. You can solve two different ways. One a little bit longer, but also. Uh, volume of sphere equals forward three pi r cube. But first of all, probably we, we study properties. If two solids are similar, then the ratio of their volumes equals to cube of linear ratio. Okay, this is V1 and this is V2. V2 to V1 equals to cube of linear ratio to r over r to the third power or after simplification it will be eight over one or this equals on another side it's equals v2 is a v and V1 is V. You cancel out and you get A equals to A. But you can do really use this, this formula. It's one in one line. This will be faster. Again, if two volumes, if two solids are similar, all spheres are similar. Then the ratio of the volumes equals to cube of linear ratio in one line. So many questions on SAT, like I showed today. You can solve in seconds. So there is no complicated question on SAT. There are a little bit more time consuming and less. You develop skill of following all my requests. You solve majority of problem pretty fast. And for, for problems uh, more time consuming, you will do, uh, you have enough time. So practically explain all without exception more frequent asked questions. Except of uh, I show for this tip, for instance, one of this tip 2039, for instance, tip three. When you nine three. Make a picture. A, B, C. E, D. And ratio AE e to ED to DC is this is two axis, this is the axis, right? Two x on the bottom, and this uh, this is four x. In addition, area given area of triangle ABD. 
E o posto de força. E de... Ah, vê só. And find area of triangle B, G, C. Well, area of B, keep in mind, if I make the perpendicular here, I use a different color. You will find, according to this topic, we use a problem with the same height. This height is for all areas for all of them because they have common vertex. And base of this ABD, this would be 2x plus 3x, which is 5x. And this is 4x. You know, if on this property and you study property at the beginning, I highlight it for you. It's very important. You can solve different way, but this is the fastest way. What is written here? The triangle with same height if uh, shown above. If ratio of this side is A to B, then ratio of area is also A to B. So based on this, you can do it one line. Okay. When we have area 40, Base is 5x. So you have base 4x is, uh, let me use here y. So instead of doing many steps, you write y times 5x equals 40 times 4x. Divide by 5x in both parts. Cancel, cancel. Cancel axis. Five goes into forty eight times. Four times uh, eight is thirty two square units. Beautiful. So my point for every SAT, I give you some tips without reading too much books for this. Just small chart. If you carefully look at this, this cluster of kind of problems that you have on real SAT. And you can do it in one in one shot. So if you did it, even you get 100%. My request: redo this package at home based on this algorithm in one line. Okay. Now I explain all most people's questions. Okay. What I uh, expect when we work. Uh, less than three hours. But what I expect from you to do, I will give this problem right now. I will give you homework. 